they're bad because you get double or triple the amount of traffic from device to device. So when you're looking at your BBMD, it could overload the network, and the more traffic that you're passing between networks, the more duplicate BBMDs you have, the worse the problem gets. If you have a small site, a little bit, just a few controllers, probably not a big deal, although you want to get this fixed right away because as you grow it, it's just going to hide in the background until it explodes. Right. So if you have a site like the one on the slide here, two BBMDs are rebroadcasting the traffic from three devices on each network. Probably won't crash your network. You might not even notice it. Um, you probably but as wouldn't. you add devices, it can get crazy. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Great. Um, so how does this happen? What are some of the common causes of this? It's a great question. So typically, it's a setup issue, purely a setup issue. And normally, it's done, to be honest, by accident. So typically, it's from a mixed vendor site, so vendor A, vendor B, vendor C. So if you think about vendor A comes along and says, I want to connect all my sites together. Great, enable BBMD functionality. It's all connected. Second part of the job is vendor B puts their controllers on the network and says, hey, I want to connect all these networks to my network, to my front end. So now you have the first duplicate BBMD. Vendor C gets a contract, adds some more integration products, and says, hey, I want to connect my network all together. So now you have a third duplicate BBMD. And it just manifests itself over and over and over. So you can end up with more than two, even three, four BBMDs in a really crazy site. It could go pretty far. Okay, hopefully that's none of your sites out there. That's so. Awesome. Um, and so, how do we catch this? What's, can you walk us through how we can kind of identify that in our site? You're saying we should take a look at our tool? I'm saying we should take a look at Visual Backnet. All right, let's take a look at our tool and, and show you how it shows up. So let me uh, log into it there. And if you aren't familiar with Visual Backnet, this is um, the software tool that we, we uh, make here at Optigo. And it can do many things, including help Ryan here find our duplicate BBMD. Absolutely. You can see by this network, the network score is 24%. Not really a good score at all. However, we'll click on it, and it will take us into a bunch of failed checks. One of the ones we're looking for is duplicate BBMD. So we'll click on that. And what we have is we have a bunch of devices in this list showing us all of the devices that are getting multiple BBMDs. Well, let's just click on the first one, and we'll scroll down into the packets. Now, right away, you can see here are your three devices that are three BM BBMDs. They're sending information to the one device. So now you have your IP addresses. Excellent. Good place to start. So now you can look in your network, find those IP addresses and see what the problem is. However, we can go further. Wouldn't it be nice to know who it is? Absolutely. So if you look in here, click on one of the devices. If you're brave enough to get into the Wireshark info. It's not that it's not that scary. We can step right in. And you can see here the first device is by automated logic. So IP address, automated logic device. Second device is payment. Siemens has also added a BBMD. And that, so that information is available from the MAC address. Right. And we'll check the last device. Oh, there's a Johnson controller here as well that's also a BBMD. So the next step would be either take a capture of this, send it to those respective companies, and say we have a problem. Or you need to elevate this to the master integrator or the facility manager, whoever you're doing the job with, and do something about it. Great. Um, and so this was exactly as expected, three different vendors putting BBMDs uh, and having that same device, the device 10014's information, being rebroadcasted by three different devices. So uh, any other tips for, for solving that and, and what the vendor, the, the, you escalate this and say the escalator, the person that's escalated two is on this call, what are they going to do? Well, you can either do, there's a couple of things you can do. You could isolate the networks, but if you have an integrated site, which we assume you would, mm -hmm. that's not really going to work for you. What you can do is you can either turn off two of the three BBMDs and have just one, or you could turn them all off and put in a new controller to handle the BBMD functionality. 
one of our rule of, rules of thumb that, that you should typically go by is it's good to have one BBMD per site that is the same vendor. The reason for that is it's easier to make changes or in, uh, configure that network. If you're using, not impossible, but if you're using multiple vendors to do it, then it's just a little bit more configuration, more software to go through, that sort of thing. Great. So somebody at some point has to decide who is going to be that master integrator, who is going to own the BBMDs on that site, and hopefully you can get rid of all of those duplicate BBMDs. And that's something we can't help you with directly, but good luck. Yeah. We'll get some on a referee's jersey. Great. Well, thank you so much. Um, have a great day, and good luck with your duplicate BBMDs. Thank you for your time. Thank you.